Alrighty. Hello, Center Esports Twitch chat. We are uh, going to beautiful uh, Lijong Towers today for our first map. Um, we, our colonels are going to be the blue team, and we have Galvanijo, Who's James, Vector, Adama, and Chonky Ghost as our starting lineup today. Hello, I'm Grant Lyon, head coach slash director of esports here at Center College, and my frame rate's really low, so I'm going to adjust some chords real quick. There we go. All right. <laughs> And I forgot to introduce myself. I am uh, Blake, also known as Blakeu Blakeu. I'm one of our um, support players at the moment. And we're hoping to have a good game today. We are running a comp we've been working on for quite a while. Um, Rush Zarya. The main important factor here is Adam on Lucio and uh, Galvan Galvanijo on Zarya. Two very powerful heroes to start out. And we have um, Vector on our Symmetra for the early teleport to get to the first point quickly. See, he puts it down and the other team is doing the same. So it's gonna be an all out brawl on the first point. Lots of stuff is going to go on. Uh, seems like the Colonels have pushed them out from the point at first and we have a first pick on their Symmetra with who's James Reaper in the back. Push them very far out of point. They've made a lot of space. The enemy team is trying to push in a little bit but they just can't seem to get through. All right, so we've already got half ult charge on Who's James and Galvanijo, but their soldier is working up to almost 70% themselves. The ults are really important here, folks. It wins fights and changes the entire uh, gameplay of the game. Right now, Sinner is gonna try and play a more defensive play while the other team, Purdue Poos, teleports behind them and their Ryan gets nanoed early on, but he's half health. Can the Colonels take him out? No. Three members, four members of the Colonels taken down, and who's James is going to be a six, but he's going to try and contest the point for just a few seconds longer. Enough time for Galvani Joe to get in and get an extra contest, and the point flips over to Purdue. However, we've already made a lot of progress on ults for our team, and they've already used Nano. So right now, the ult economy is about even. Um, it looks like the Colonels are probably going to try and engage a fight with Window from Baptiste, which should give them a lot of damage to take out the enemy team quickly. Oh, but an early pick on our Baptiste from Chonky Ghost is going to be a really bad sign as they boost in and try and take us out, but we are able to get out, except for Galvani Joe. Oh, and they take out Adam as well. So we have our DPS returning back to the spawn to protect themselves from the damage while they wait for respawns. Uh, a big combo here is going to be the Graviton Surge from Zarya, which will gather the entire enemy team all together at once, and they cannot move. They're going to try and get to that as soon as possible, and probably window that with their baths, and do a lot of damage to the enemy team. Let's see if the, the Colonels can get this done. Window is popped, and then Shatter from the enemy Rhine knocking down a lot, but Adam is able to get a big beat off and save a lot of his teammates, as the Reinhardt is in the enemy in our team. It seems the fight is swaying in the direction of Purdue as an, as our tank is taken down and they rush in towards our spawn. Can our Genji player uh, Vector make it out or not? And it looks like he will survive and we wait for respawns once again. Our team has three ultimates ready while their team is only going to have a nano boost ready, which is a big ult for the enemy on their Ana, but with enough coordination, we should be able to get a big play and wipe out the enemy team easily and retake the point. We see Center taking a different line here, going on the left, trying to get some distance from the enemy, and already they take out their soldier and grab and take out the entire team with a Who's James ult. Now that is what we want to see from Center College. They quickly take back the point. 98% for the enemy team. That 1% difference from 99 is actually extremely important. Now that they have stopped it from getting to 99, overtime will not happen for the enemy team immediately once they take the point. If they take the point. It looks like the Purdue team is moving in on the point now. Center College is taking a defensive position inside of the control point. Looking at the old economy, we have Dragon Blade, and we're going to engage with Dragon Blade on uh, Vector. Doesn't get anything at the start, but kills the Rhine, dashes in, and gets killed by the soldier, but our other... DPS, who's James, is able to clean up and is about to take out their Lucio, and that is a one fight for Center College. It looks like our tank, Galvani Joe, 
is getting a little aggressive, but he has high charge. Zarya, as she takes damage, she makes more charge and does more damage to the enemy. The higher charge she is, the more effective she is against them. And the high charge Galvanijo is definitely something we want to see on this team. The one issue we have here is that the enemy is building up some more ultimates and we seem to be out on almost everything. And they teleport behind point, they're attacking now, but their Symmetra's low and Who's James gets taken out. They they nano and shatter, but that might be the map. Because the Center College does not have enough time to retake the point, and the first round of the John Tower goes to Purdue Poots. All right, we are on Li Zhang Tower Garden, a much more open map with lots of edges, and we have uh, Galvanizo going on to Reinhardt, one of his most loved characters. He's had a lot of playtime on him. We have Who's James going on to Symmetra, and Vector onto Reaper, changing up the DPS line, but our supports are staying the same. We want to keep our Lucio for that speed boost. It's critical for this comp, and Baptiste outputs so much healing. He's so important. This is nearly a mirror match coming out from the colonels here. The only difference here is Soldier and uh, Sojourn. Oh, Soldier and Reaper. My bad. An early, ooh, an early pick. Two early picks from both Galvanijo and Chonky Ghost, and Vector gets a third. That's a one fight for the colonels. Vector is getting aggressive, teleporting behind them. Is he going to get the pick on the Lucio? He does. And that is a stagger as Ana jumps off the map to deny us some ult charge. The Colonels are now going to head back to point, try and get some percentage on it, and it seems like Purdue Poos is heading back, trying to do a retake. Still waiting for them to regroup. Uh, Alright, so they're trying to take the bridge, a common uh, attack. Oh, they're teleporting. The enemy team has teleported behind um, our defensive hold and onto the point forcing Center College to move a little more aggressive and a little more close, which could pose some danger, but every second that they stand on this point is a second we get as... That is a major charge from Galvanijo. That fight went from even to a complete win from that charge. And is he going to get the, the last kill? Let's go. So far, two team kills from Center College on Lijong, uh Garden. Big wins from our team here. We have two ultimates up, three ultimates up, and one coming soon, while the enemy team only is getting close to Nano from their Ana. Nano boost is a dangerous thing that we should look out for, but with three ultimates, our team should be able to counter it well. And an early pick on the fight is going to force them to either take a, a dangerous fight into a window and just completely destroy it. It really seems like the Colonel's... Ooh, and a Earth Shatter that takes down two. Currently, we have three ultimates coming up while their team is about to have all five, which is a dangerous situation for the Colonel to be in, but with Lucio's beat, he can help the team survive through most of it. And that's what we're hoping to see. They do an early wall as they teleport onto point. An early Shatter as well from a Nano Drine, but no... no Nothing is gained, and we beat Big Beat, saving the life of our tank. We wall as well, and the fight is the end. Vector gets a 2k ult while the Ryan goes down in front of them. An extremely close fight that could have gone either way, but Sinner's use of the what remaining ults they had was extremely well and good here. Any any deep words from our director, Grant Lyon? I'm focusing on the camera <laughs> real hard. Another chart, and then that's the enemy beat down, but the Rhine is, is really low. Vector is going in to deal a lot of damage, and the Reinhardt is down and is overtime. If the enemy team does not get on the point, they will lose this round. And it's three, four kills, one less, and there we go. Center College has won the second map of Legion Tower. It will go to a third, and this will decide the map win. We are going to Lijong Tower Control Center, which is a much more enclosed and claustrophobic map, which could pose some issues against the comp that Center is fighting against. But the change to Reinhardt really seems to have gone in Center College's favor. This looks like a team that gets into trouble. Good thing I came along. Hmm? It seems we have another change up in the DPS from 
Ooh, Vector is going from Reaper to May. May has been changed quite a lot since Overwatch 1. She no longer freezes and stuns enemies, but does a... Oh, she's back to Reaper, I guess. I don't need an explanation. <laughs> They're gonna try and TP really quickly, and then speed boost right into this little corridor and fight the team as fast as possible. The other team will be looking to do the same. Our tank is already low, but gets healed up quick. The Reaper is split. Seems like an even fight at the moment. No picks and no dangerous moments yet. But it could turn in an instant, folks. Overwatch 2 is a very quick game. But it seems like we have taken more space than them and kind of shut them out from this area. And we can see one of them trying... Oh! We got one pick from Vector. Uh, two picks, three picks. And that is a one fight. And it seems like they've swapped to Zarya to try and fight our Reinhardt. But it seems like just not effective enough. We're getting really aggressive here, taking space. As we have taken the point, and every second that goes by, another point ticks up for us for a win. Looking at the old economy right now, we are close to Shatter and Window, while they are close to just about nothing other than Beat right now. So, we have the advantage in old economy, which is extremely important. Getting some good healing in from Tonky Ghost right here. Opening up with the Window right as I move in, forcing them to use Beat. Uh, we. Get a shatter off and kill the Hanzo. Uh, one pick down, we are one up. Two up right now. That is a one fight and we're pushing them into their spawn at this point. Our Reinhardt's low, but is able to get healed up by our supports. We have a two ults, three ults coming up now while they have Graviton. They have about three ults as well, which could be very dangerous, but our Lucio ult is extremely important. As I say, as he's about to get picked from a Hanzo shot. All right, they just grabbed and trying to dragon now. This could be the end, but it looks like Lucio beat just in time to save the entire team, and a Vector ult, ult gets two, about to get a third, gets three, and our Lucio picks off the Reaper in the back line. Absolutely Beautiful play. massive from Vector there. Truly. And not even to say, Adam's ult there was insanely important, saved the whole team. We didn't see it, but <laughs> the... Zarya plus Hanzo um, is an insanely powerful combo where the Graviton puts them all together and Hanzo's ult dragons does an insane amount of damage to stationary targets. So the beat really saved us there as well as uh, Vector really popping off and saving our team. Right now we're holding an extremely close area. We have 92%. They have to make a play. We lose Vector instantly, but... oh. This is winnable, extremely winnable. They have the touch point now and they don't, and the first map goes to Center College. Who do you think on Center College was, was the was the MVP of this map, huh? Interesting question. I think I think the swap to Reinhardt made made a big deal there. Um, oh, but we get to see a play the that game being from Galvanizo said. <laughs> as Zarya. This was a very big Graviton surge, I will say. Gets four of them and then is their entire team is just able to completely destroy them. That huge, huge James ult was massive. All right, we are heading into our second map, um, uh, uh, starting with P and a name that we can't pronounce, but I'm gonna say Paraiso. It's one of the new maps added to Overwatch 2. It is a hybrid map. The enemy team has to first capture the point and then move a cart across the entire map until the end. We will be on the blue side, so look out for our blue gamers. <sighs> Same uh, lineup as we had yesterday, uh, before. I'm pretty sure we will have the same lineup of people playing these characters throughout all five games, or all three, as we want. We're starting out with a bit of a dive comp, which uh, has Winston, which is the, our giant monkey on Galvanizo. We have Who's James on Sojourn, one of the new characters who's extremely strong right now, and Who's James is one of the best players I know on her. We have Vector again on his Genji, one of the better characters in Overwatch 2 at the moment. Adam back on Lucio and Anna for a, our Chonky Ghost. The whole idea of this comp is to jump on the enemy and hurt them real fast while Anna does a lot of healing and tries to keep uh, our Winston, or as I will be saying a lot, Monkey, alive. <laughs> um, and Interestingly, we're seeing a, a Kiriko out from um, Purdue Puce here. That's the first. So this is the first match in, in ECC that Kiriko is allowed to be played, and it seems like Purdue Goose is going to try and use her unique kit and utility against us. It seems like they will be running a similar dive comp. Instead of Lucio, they will be running Kiriko. It seems like they're, Winston's jumping in, taken out by Who's James with a Genji who's purple, 
taken out my vector. Now when I say purple, I mean our Ana has given them the anti-nade, meaning they can receive no healing for, I believe, 3.5 seconds from their team, which could be extremely powerful when enemies dive into our team. Unfortunately, Vector gets taken out when going aggressive, so we're playing a 4v5 at the moment with the enemy having a, a faster spawn than us. So our team has to play careful as they jump into us, but our supports at the moment are safe. They seem to be focusing our tank. Oh, but we have a Genji on our Ana, but Lucio is able to come save her, and who's James is able to get the pick? They've really been able to even out the fight here while being down, and now Vector is back, they go on the aggression. One pick already, Monkey is half, but our Genji, Vector, almost died up there, but he gets healed by our glorious healers. And they won't tell you this in class, but a uh, healer is one of the most important roles in Overwatch 2. Without them, no one could do anything. Our DPS may be able to hit heads with her, with her shots, but without healers, nothing happens. It seems the enemy team's gonna jump on us again, and already a pick on the Genji because of the Massive anti-nade from our Tonky Ghost is able to let them get a kill. But Galvanesia goes down from a dive in from the Winston. So now our team is down their main tank. Our only tank. So they're going to have to play a little little more passive and a little less aggressive. They've fallen back to the point, trying to fall back a little bit. It seems like we are able to keep our Kevin just alive a little bit longer as he gets a nano boost, which can be insanely powerful on Genji but he doesn't have the ability to go aggressive yet. But he goes in anyways. Both supports are one, and he takes out one and dives straight into a wall and dies. Right now it is just Lucio on the point, but Monkey is coming back, able to maybe clean up these DPS. He ults, uh, Winston ult makes him a very angry Monkey and gives him all of his life back. And he smacks around both of their DPS, able to contest the point, fighting only the enemy Winston. It was an excellent contest. By it Gavin was an insanely great contest. He took out two and was able to stop him capping point while he, the rest of his team was able to walk back slowly. Unfortunately, Ana is an old granny and it takes her a long time to go anywhere. And as we see, Center College is already taking back their defensive position up on this high ground. High ground is really important to hold in this game. If you can hold the high ground, you can stop the enemy from going into you really easily. They seem to have swapped up their comps. They've swapped their Kirito for a Zen and their Winston for a Diva. Diva is really strong right now. She does a lot of damage. It seems like their Zen swapped a little bit ago and I missed it. They have Transcendence, which does an extreme amount of healing for the enemy team, but it seems like they've wasted it just a bit because they haven't been able to push with it. But our Lucio gets picked off. It seems like Dire Straits in Center College right now as they get split up and both of their supports. Oh, but they are able to hold back and make them fall back with a timely Who's James snipe. And it seems that like Galvanesia was distracting them in the back line. Unfortunately, gets killed. But that Sojourn from the enemy is one, and James gets the pick. Who's James is just a very consistent hit skin player. Sojourn is definitely in his element. It seems like their Diva has been demeched, which means when Diva dies once, she becomes a little baby form, as we like to say. It has a lot less health, but if she does enough damage, she can come back as the big robot she was before. Ooh, a absolutely dirty shot from the en enemy Zenyatta takes out Vector, but the enemy team did not get to the point in time, and the first round is done with a center full hold. Just barely, too. They really might have been able to take that. Honestly, just that a couple fight, of pixels off with the D.Va there. A couple of pixels off, and they were already up 5-4. That fight was definitely winnable for them, because I don't think we had any ultimates up at the moment. But that is a classic case of hold currents. Now let's see if they can roll. Our team is still in the blue, but now we will be attacking the exact same position that we were holding previously. My guess is that they're going to run dive once again. Nope, they are going to be going back to the Zarya rush comp that we've been practicing. The whole idea of this composition is just to run into the enemy really quickly and kill them. In a video game, not in real life. So let's hope we get some big plays and this this round only lasts 30 seconds. That's my hope. It may not be so much interesting to watch, but that is a big win for Center College if that can happen. Putting all, all of the 
focus on you, Vector. You need to get us this this 30 second win. I say as he holds out a pizza. All right, the match is about to start. We have a dive comp from the enemy, still running Zen with a Baptiste. Bit of a strange comp in my opinion. I don't think I've seen this healer lineup before, but it can be effective. Baptiste does a lot of damage and Zen does a lot of damage. Healing and damage is a good combo. But it seems like we are just able to walk and make them get off the high ground. It seems like we're holding back just a little bit as Who's James is getting a flank on Reaper as the rest of us go up on the high ground and their Sojourn's already half as he tries to go in, but Sojourn's able to get away. We've already, we've lost two and they've lost two and so it's an equal fight, but two of our DPS have walked onto point and they only need to get one tick as is just their Winston and their Reaper left. So Winston is down, just the Reaper. If they take out the Reaper, they could easily take this point. Not quite 30 seconds, but I would say a 42, 41 second round is pretty good for Center College. That was quite a cheeky play by the Colonels there. They weren't necessarily up in the fight. I would dare say they were down one. And I yet would agree. The two, the two damage players just pushed on the point knowing they don't have to actually take the full point. Just, just that one tick. It seems like the enemy team of Purdue Poos got a little too aggressive in taking out our Galvanizo and just let them walk past. This is a very open map. It's an escort map, meaning the attacking team will have to move the cart throughout the entire map by walking on it. If the enemies touch the cart, it stops moving. So the whole idea is that whoever's attacking needs to push the cart, whoever's defending needs to stop it. We will be on the red team this time, which I believe means we are the, on the attack first. And let us see what team composition both Poos and Center runs. Alright, so we're going to have a modified Zarya Rush comp on Center College that we have been talking about for a little bit. A same thing comp as before. We have Zarya, Genji, Lucio, and Ana. And instead we have Who's James on Tracer, meaning this comp is going to be extremely aggressive. Genji and Tracer will try and get into the back line, take out the enemies, and then Zarya will be able to just push through and damage anyone else that's in her way. It's a very aggressive comp and a very risky comp, but I believe the Colonels can definitely pull this off. The enemy team is running a bit of a more interesting comp. Still have the Zarya, which is a very strong character at the moment. Sojourn, Hanzo, Ana, and then Moira, a very versatile heal healer, but perhaps not the most best at healing. Match starts already. Just some early poke from both teams. A great opening shot out from Purdue Puce there on mm -hmm. Hanzo. Hanzo takes out our Adam, but we have Who's James running the Widowmaker early, trying to get an early pick, as Junkertown is an extremely open map, really well for the sniper known as Widowmaker. Zarya jumps up onto the high ground with the enemies with the bubble jump. Very interesting tech there, as he's forced to go back a little bit. But progress is made, being made on the count cart as Vector takes out one of the enemy Hanzo as we start to make more and more space and their Zari is split from the rest of the team. He is able to fall back, however, but it's still a 5v4 in favor of the Colonels. If they can take the fight now before the enemy gets back, and that's two down, three down, <laughs> and the cart is taken. Only their Hanzo's left trying to Plink little arrows at our team, but we all know he's going to miss. Aggressive strat by Galvanizo, getting an early pick on the Moria. Able to hide behind some cover that has been added in Overwatch 2. That was not there in Overwatch 1. Saving the life of Galvanizo as the Colonels take some space as the cart slowly moves forward. Enemy team has swapped to a Winston comp. No other changes. They seem to want to jump on our sniper backline. As I forgot to mention, Vector also swapped to the Ash, another long range hero that is able to really take advantage of Junker Town's extreme ranges. Galvanizo getting a pick on the Ana, which is very big, and then the uh, Winston is able to get the counter back onto our Zarya. Right now it is a 4v. Oh, a. 3v5 now, as Galvanizo is walking back slowly. Only two people on the point defending. 
perhaps the Colonels can take the initiative and get two more picks. We really pushed them into a little small room here as we push the cart further and further. It seems, yes, the enemy team is starting to regroup. There's still two people behind us, but Who's James is able to hop up and take out one with his Widowmaker as the monkey gets nanoed but still dies to Vector. And a dragon takes out Galvanizo and Who's James. Is it enough? It is not enough to take out our team as Vector gets a three or four K able to secure the second point on Junker Town. If you didn't know, on uh, hybrid and escort maps, there are certain points that you get the cart to and your respawn becomes closer to where the end is. And as you slowly move on, you get closer and closer until the Colonels will eventually win. We've got a swap from Galvanizer to Diva here. Counter that Winston. Diva does really well against Winston. She outputs an insane amount of damage at the moment. Another change in the comp. He's able to move around. As it seems, Purdue is able to push forward and get onto the comp um, with an aggressive Genji and an aggressive Winston. It seems like Purdue is able to take the fight and win. Still got four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Who's James is still dueling, able to take out the Mora before he's taken out by four enemy gamers. Right now, the center college is waiting for Who's James to come back. But they're going to go in 4v4, trying to get the fight early as their Moria tries to fade back into the fight. Who's James is currently walking back to the point. Galvanizo getting aggressive on the D.Va, trying to, on a split from their team, perhaps a pick could be made. It seems like the enemy, our team is just trying to take some space and move the cart forward. An enemy team gets a nano blade off. It's a very dangerous and big ult, but we're able to get a no, uh, immortality field. And Who's James is able to take out a nano bladed Genji, a very difficult task. Our whole team is able to survive thanks to a great ult from uh, Adam. A beat saves the lives of many of his teammates, and their monkey is just not able to get any value off of his ult. And Galvin, that's three picks down. Center College is in a really great spot here. They have the ult advantage as no one on their team, on the enemy team, but Sojourn has her ult. The Mora is getting pretty close. She might have Coalescence, which could be a very big fight turner for the enemy team. But if we're holding them at their spawn here, they will get so little value out of their ultimates if they can just keep pushing the card. It seems the enemy team has swapped to Zarya at the last second. And Coalescence from, the, from Solar on Mora can be very dangerous. Kevin, Vector getting a Reaper ultimate. No picks though. The Zarya is one, and the Galvanizo gets a melee kill on the Zarya. It's taken out by the Ana by a grenade, but Adama gets slept before he can take out the Ana, and it seems like that is a lost fight for Center College, but we got it 2.05 meters away from the final point. Really well done by Purdue there to, to flip that fight. It was a very scrappy and close one there. Super clutch sleep. For a while, I thought actually we were about to win that fight, but they were able to turn that around. It seems like we're taking another aggressive dive into the enemy team with D.Va and Sojourn. And it seems like our Genji is not far behind. A big slow grenade hitting multiple people halfway to ult on Sojourn already. It seems like the enemy Sojourn has ulted now. It's a very dangerous ult. Anyone who has less, has 200 health or less can get one shot her, by her in her ultimate very easily. But it seems like Center College is playing safe, using cover, trying to head, not get hit, and the enemy Sojourn ult is down. D.Va has her bomb, and we're trying to take out the Ana. Ana is down by Chonky Ghost and D.Va. Forcing the enemy team to go back into their spawn. There is the bomb, forcing the enemy team to either get back or die. And Galvanizo gets a rematch kill on Genji, and that is the first round as Sinner College pushed it to the final point with 1 minute and 43 seconds remaining. Wow, that rematch was really... That that required that Baptiste lamp to, to be able to pull off. Like, his, his health exactly. was was too low. I had not seen that particular combo before. That's really, really good. Uh, Lamp Remake is actually a true combo. <laughs> All right, so now the sides have changed, just like the last map. The goal of Center College is to stop Purdue Poos from moving it all the way to the end. If Center College is able to time out the, thing, the game without Purdue getting it to the end, Center College has won this set. 
We've already seen some very big plays out of Center College. We're running, once again, the Zarya Rush comp. Standard, Sojourn Reaper. Let's see if Center College can get some value. It seems like the enemy team is running a Diva Rush comp, similar to ours. No Lucio, no Baptiste, but Mora can get a similar amount of healing output as Baptiste. And it seems like Center College is doing one of our favorite strategies on this map. It is called Spawn Camping. The whole idea is that Center College is going to hold as close as they can to the enemy spawn and delay as much time as possible because the enemy team has to push the cart a very far away to get the next checkpoint. Meaning even if Center loses and every single person dies, they have made progress and stalled the cart. Instantly aggressive start, Diva half HP. Already a bunch of ult charge from everyone on Center. Seems like this Genji's trying to get aggressive on the cart and gets taken out by Adam and the Diva is taken out by Galvanizo. And that is a one fight at the start. They're gonna take some a little further back and just try and stop anyone from leaving the spawn. The whole idea of this idea, of this strategy is just to bully the enemy team pretty much. They aren't allowed to leave their spawn because we're here. Close drops on our Chonky Ghost, but he's able to live, and their Diva's half already. They leave the spawn, but that is meaning they leave the protection and are able to get destroyed by Center College. Galvanizo getting their Junkrat, a swap that they try to do. Our Lucio is taken out, and the Diva... Oh, Chonky Ghost is taken out by their Mora as well. Their Diva has no mech, and it seems like we have lost the fight with Sleuth on Junkrat picking off two of our heroes. But we have stalled for about a whole minute, and they have moved the cart barely anything at all. So now we wait, we use our Lucio speed boost, and we get back quick to the enemy lines. And it'll be just like if we held back further back, but we have a whole minute and a half now, extra. The enemy team is, Junkrat is going to try and hold close, putting out traps and all that. The whole hope is that Center College can get wrap around here. One pick from Galvanizo and one pick from the Diva. Even Team Fighter at the moment. The cart is getting close to the end, but we have a Graviton Surge from Zarya here that could really turn the fight. The only ultimate the enemy has is Riptire, which can be very easily destroyed. Who's James is currently on the back line trying to kill Diana with Vector on Reaper. That's one. And is he gonna that's two! That's DPS. Still a close line. Their Sojourn getting a lot of value with her right clicks, taking out both Adam and Vector. It's about an even fight now, but the ultimates are getting up there. Center College almost has all five ultimates, while Purdue Poos will only have four coming out. And their Sojourn lets off her ultimate. Very dangerous. Uh, their Diva is going in on our Zarya. She's low. Who's James is trying to get an angle here, getting a long range pick. Maybe he can ult off, but Zarya full charge here on their support. This is really a brawl, folks. It's hard to keep track of anything. It seems like their junk route rip tired, but taking out our Who's James, but it's a 2v... 2v5 right now. 2v4. It seems like Galvanizer is going to try and head out and try and live, but it's unfortunately taken out by the D.Va. So, Purdue Poos is able to get the first point and get two more minutes onto the clock, but that won't stop Center College. They seem to have swapped to a Sombra, which is a very interesting pick, trying to counter anyone who's reliant on abilities with her hack. Sombra can hack someone and they won't be able to do any of their abilities for a good two seconds and take extra damage. But no changes from Center College. Still, we're holding on to Graviton, Beat, and a Amplification Matrix from our Zarya, Lucio, and uh, Baptiste, respectively. While they only have a Diva Bomb and Nano Boost from um, Anna. Seems like our Vector is getting a little low here, fighting a Sombra, but he's able to survive thanks to some good healing. While Galvanizo's on the point, stopping them from heading forward, looking for a big grab, gets one, and takes him out easily. Now, folks, just a single grab can be extremely powerful and win a fight like it just did here. Adam going forward trying to get a pick while speeding up his Zarya. Unfortunately, it does not look like they're able to get much more picks, so they should head back. James is trying to duel. Ooh, Vector taken out by the Sombra, but James is able to take out their Sojourn, so it's an even fight, 4v4, one DPS down for both sides. 
Sombra getting caught out. Diva heading onto our James, but the entire rest of the team quickly goes to his aid and protects him. Nano boosted Diva going in. Galvin is in a tough spot here, but is saved by a, a immortality field from Tronky Ghost. That was extremely big. It helped stall the car just for a few seconds longer as our DPS are trying to run away as we lose another fight. We have about one more recontest here if our team plays careful. We have to be careful. Sombra has our EMP. A very dangerous ultimate which will hack our entire team, dealing 40% of their health and causing no... And Sombra gets picked early so the center college can move in and try and take the fight early. Opening up with the window. Third Diva bombs. Taking out two. It's Diva's... They have a Moria ult going off but it just ended. Big scrappy fight here. They're on and separated, trying to get taken off, picked off by our Zarya. It seems like the fight has been won by Center College as Sombra comes in and acts, EMPs everyone. But that's not enough. That was just a waste of an ult. As Center College is able to mop up the rest of Purdue and a minute left on the clock. Graviton Surge coming up and Reaper's ult, Death Blossom coming up. A great combo that could wipe out an entire team, especially seeing as the Dupus has no defensive ults on their support line. Center College only has hold for 40 more seconds and backline hack on our Chonky Ghost, but no follow up from the Sombra. Center College is gonna have to be really careful and keep spy checking by shooting everywhere. As Diva goes in on our Who's James, he backs out. Reaper goes in. Really is just a waiting game on ults and when they push. Seems like. Who's, uh, Vector's gonna go for an early ult, gets a pick, and the D.Va out of mech. That could just end the fight there. Especially now that Center College can hold on to the Graviton Surge, preventing anyone from touching the cart. And it seems like Center College has won this match. Sombra is on point, contesting Whoa. at the end, taking out Vector, <laughs> pushing the cart at the end. Can Sombra do it? She teleports away. Who's James trying to take out the Sombra? Takes him out with a right click straight to the head, and that will. Oh, Diva is able to touch and put a bomb. I spoke too soon. Funky Ghost takes out. Just the Mora now able to contest on our Who's James. No play, meaning the Mora is extremely vulnerable, and that on a might touch. No, that is finally it. After three times of saying that is it, it's finally <laughs> it. And that is the end of round match three. No, round three of, I don't know the logistics here, but play the game from Galvanijo here. Please tell me if the, it is the remake. I think yes. Here comes the Baptiste lamp. Here comes the Baptiste lamp. Saves the life of, goes down to twenty five HP, <laughs> which is the maximum of lamp, and gets a remake kill. And it's very hard to do that. I want to give a good shout out to Purdue Poos. They played a really well game. I think it was pretty close. Absolutely. A lot of those fights could have swung either way. They definitely could hold their own against us. But as we all know, roll Kearns. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you for everyone for tuning in um, to this relatively short match here today. Um, we will have another one on Thursday against University of Alabama in Huntsville Blue. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Take I care. I hope you all enjoyed.